If we plan to make chocolate milk for our family, then we will add ingredients like milk, sugar and chocolate in a proportionate amount, right? Now what if we have guests at home? We will simply have to double or triple the amount of individual ingredients. Simple, isn't it? It means that for a particular recipe, the proportion of inputs will almost always remain the same. Why are we discussing this along with the concept of atoms? That's because it will help us understand a few important laws related to atoms. The introduction to the concept of atoms was a major breakthrough in the field of chemistry. However, proving the existence of atoms needed many experimental evidences. The hypothesis that matter is formed out of atoms needed experimental evidences. Soon a French chemist called Antoine Lavoisier carried out several experiments to finalize some strong and valid concepts. After remarkable observations and ideologies, we could get the two major laws of chemical combinations. The two laws are law of conservation of mass and law of constant proportions. Let us understand each law in detail. Let's take a simple example. Just imagine we carry out an experiment in which element A and element B react together to give us a compound C. If we keenly observe, we find that atoms of elements A and B do not exist individually in the reaction mixture. They come together to give us the new compound C. Although it seems that atoms of elements A and B are degenerating, it's not the case. In reality, they are combining to give us the compound C. Antoine Lavoisier put forth the law of conservation of mass and do you know what it tells us? It states that mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. He explained this law by saying that matter is formed from the pre-existing matter and the mass of the newly formed matter will be the same as that of the pre-existing matter. We can neither create new matter nor destroy the existing matter. So the chocolate milk that we made in the beginning came from the milk, sugar and chocolate mixed together. Similarly, we could see that compound C is formed only when atoms of elements A and B combine together. So new substances are formed only when pre-existing ones combine in nature. New things cannot be made from nothing. The input for any matter that's formed is always the matter that already exists. Now this was the first law. Do you remember the second law? Yes, it was the law of constant proportions. But for knowing this law in detail, you will have to watch our next video.